current standings are we do have Leviathan solidly in fourth place now, sitting at 10 and 5, and uh, I believe 8 and 4 is the record for Union. They are sitting just outside the top four, looking in in fifth place, and they can bring up a win here, which does take them still ahead of uh, a team that is currently at 9 and 5. So uh, that I have to confirm for you very quickly, which is the house is down at our 10 and 6. Uh, Pain Gaming and Union Gaming tied. Uh, at eight and four going into this series so they need to take this game at least a tie up um, with them if they're able to take their next series so either way the rat from jenkins dota and crew able to be enough to take down the union gaming in game one they've gone one and two so far today tying up their series with thd and losing the first game of course as we just saw to leviathan so we'll look to see if the american squad um, are able to take this 2-0 and help their cause this will actually bring them into um they're already in third place boreal esports sitting at 10 and 8 they are 10 and 5 so 10 and 6 will tie them in second with the houses down the brazilian squad let me post this in chat for you guys so you're not trying to uh decipher what i'm saying but there are the statistics for you first two bands once again, Union Gaming taking out the Death Prophet, but not the Void here. They took out the Death Prophet Void 1-2 in pretty much every game today in J JDL. Leviathan are going to deny up the Brewmaster from the side of UG here and pick it up for themselves. So Benha is not going to be able to have that Brew once again. And not that they were privy to taking it, but either way, Skyrath. So Hero is going to be traded here. Skyrath going to be picked up. Denied up from Sunken uh, for Union Gaming. So he is obviously a counter to the Brewmaster and uh, is doing fairly well here, but is the first pickup. We'll see what they couple it with for the side of Union Gaming. And uh, hopefully they are able to use that to great effectiveness. So it wasn't super effective early on as it should have been for Leviathan, but they did make it work. And they will pair it with the Ogre, so two very strong supports for the side of Union Gaming picked up either way. Um, yeah, if your ears are bleeding, it's a good sign, guys. Score is one to nothing for the side of Leviathan. And uh, <laughs> I have more HPs. You're resident Canadian Dota 2 caster. And that's the resident Canadian Dota 2 player, Jenkins, over on Leviathan. So, yeah, piss lips. That is the resident Canadian Dota 2 caster. That is moi. Either way, very versatile opening for Union Gaming here. This is probably going to be their two supports, but this does leave them a lot of room in their cores to pick up here. And Leviathan going to take the Void here, so the first time that Union Gaming don't ban him, perhaps they are kicking themselves. And uh, the Void going to be instantly picked up in the second phase for Leviathan. So we'll see if Jenkins takes that towards the off lane uh, or they run it in the safe lane here with Factor Fiction. He is standing in for Shredder. These are... Shibby's words, not mine. Shredder's boyfriend came back from Paris and they're out on a date. So unfortunately, he's not here. But Union Gaming also dealing with some roster replacements just for this series as well. Um, Sidoral and Zinderals, their mid and support player respectively, have been replaced by Tex and Baka. Tex is currently playing in the offlane for them. Baka on the support role. They will have Angel though, who does usually play offlane for them. So we'll see if he replaces Tex there and relegates Tex to a support role. Either way, it will be interesting to see how they fare with one of their members back for this one, uh, losing the first game to Leviathan. So hopefully for those of you that did bet on UG, you can bet on all the games you see on Hefla TV, or at least most of them over on Dota2BestYolo.com. And uh, hopefully for the side of you UG bettors, they are able to retain your rares here, unless you bet just on game one, in which case uh, my condolences. But... Taking a look at the draft thus far, very strong opening for Leviathan, although they have kind of cornered themselves in terms of bans with picking up two cores this early. Uh, odds were 70%, 30% in favor of Leviathan on Dota2BestYolo.com. So, so far, they proved you right. It took them 60 minutes to do it, but they have saved your rares if you did bet on a bet of two. And, uh, yeah, very... very <laughs> Very, very fun stuff here, just looking at chat. And either way, 
I'm going to see a Morphling and a Razor Band. So interesting band in terms of the Morphling from Leviathan. He is cut quite good into the Chronosphere. If you're able to get that Morph off before that happens, it's very tough to kill. And they don't have enough burst to bring him down before he morphs thus far. So I don't mind that band from them. It does mitigate their ability to find solo picks with this Faceless Void, especially if he goes towards the offlane where he won't get the greatest farm in terms of items and will have to need some support from his supporting cast there to bring down the chronosphere targets but either way there is still the mirana here so although there will be no mystic flare chronosphere combo there is the mystic flare arrow combo uh, as well as the deep no the dp has been banned out so they can't pick that up elder titan pretty good against void does have the earth splitter as well as the echo stomp to counter up that uh, chronosphere skywrath also very good can drop the mystic flare from the outside over top of his ally such as to back the faceless void up However, Skyrath Mage very low in armor as well, so if he gets caught in the Chronosphere, is in all likelihood dead. And uh, we will see if UG are able to pick something here in terms of their cores. For once, we will see an Elder Titan core here, so that's very good. We've seen in the support role twice already, so he will be probably in the off lane finding uh, some farm or at least some levels. But Leviathan are going to get some long range initiation of their own with the earth shaker so the fissure does kind of help out in the chronosphere but more for disengaging as well as engaging and uh, will be able to counter initiate with that echo slime once he's able to get up the blink dagger things still very flexible for union gaming here uh slark does work very well with their lineup they do have the input uh amplification of the magic damage from the ancient seal they do have the bloodlust to help get the essence sh shift stacks up they have the natural order and if you get shadow dance off before a chronosphere you pretty much waste the chronosphere if you are the sole target of it so i think slark is an excellent pickup here for union if they decide to go that route ben has is a very capable slark player and I wouldn't mind them taking that route this early. They don't have too much to deal with him at this point. Dark Pact, very good versus the Brewmaster Boulder Toss. And there isn't too much other hard disable for this Slark unless they build an Abyssal onto this Faceless Void. And if he is in the off lane, that's going to be very difficult to do. So I would love to see a Slark pickup come out here. But they'll pick up the Storm. So another elusive hero in his own right. This still does leave the Slark in the pool if they choose to take that route but they'll take the storm spirit away from shibby who did play it last game so a lot of trading of heroes elder titan skywrath and storm spirit all on the side of leviathan last game and they are now all on the side of union brewmaster on the side of union has now swapped as well to leviathan so interesting uh, union obviously liked what leviathan were able to do last game and uh, just the heroes that are also fresh in their mind at this current moment so We'll see what the fourth pickup is from Leviathan here. They can certainly pick up the Slark for themselves, although he doesn't exactly synergize well with their lineup thus far. And uh, they do need a safe laner, perhaps. They pick up the Rubik. So strong laning hero. Does have quite a bit to steal in the Ball Lightning and the Ogre and Skyrath's toolkits. So that's not bad for him. Ball Lightning is a pretty easy steal most often. And we will see a Centaur ban here from Union Gaming. So they're going to remove that. I guess that means they are assuming that this Faceless Void is in the safe lane. And they do have good defensive supports for it in the Rubik and the Earthshaker to keep him babysat. Although they don't have the best harassing capabilities in lane. So this Elder Titan should get quite a bit here. But with the Telekinese and the Fisher and one or two Time Lock procs, they should bring down this ET more often or not if that is the laning choice from Union Gaming. And so we're looking at it now. Eating into their reserve time for this last pick or this last ban is Leviathan. I believe a Slark would be a great ban here, but we'll see if they concur with me on that matter or if they leave that in the pool for UG. And uh, they do have some ways to deal with the Slark, but most of it can be purged off by the Dark Pack. They'll actually ban out the PA, so they are expecting, of course, the hard carry from UG here with the first four picks. And they are correct about that, but this does leave the Slark in the pool. And uh, they'll actually pick up the TB, so Eternal Envy ask Ben has going to be on that Terror Blade. Very interesting pickup. They do have the Space Creators in the Skywrath Ogre and Storm Spirit to help him get farm, but Terror Blade, 
not amazing into void uh, especially if he builds a battle fury but if he gets chronoed up and he doesn't get that sunder off um, having that extra damage from metamorphosis is really doesn't help anyone and more metamorphosis used to give plus hp but it no longer does that i think that's dota one days either way leviathan will have the choice here for their off laner or safe laner against this terror blade they could pick up an off laner like a magnus who does have some aoe damage he also offers that in power which is very nice for the void not sure how comfortable they are with that magnus however uh, the rp is pretty damn good as well to lock down the storm spirit and it synergizes pretty well with the chronosphere so i wouldn't mind a magnus pick here from tv as well um, or something with just some illusion clear uh, and they pick up the lion, which is exactly that. The mana drain every five seconds at level four can be cast to pop the illusions. And it looks like we may see a core Earthshaker here. Factor Fiction does pick that up. So we will see some early levels in the Earthshaker. He will get that Echo Slam up early, and that'll be good against the Terror Blade. And we will see Angel back into his position in the off lane. And Tech's actually going to play in the mid on that storm spirit so we will see a core earthshaker from the side of leviathan so they've already secured your rare rares with one win in the game um but perhaps they're throwing the win away with this core earthshaker they pick up the lion for the illusion clear which certainly isn't bad um, but i certainly would have liked to see perhaps a naga uh, or a slark or a magnus in that slot as well either way jenkins gonna be on the faceless void so he still will be in the off lane and they will put this earth shaker in the safe lane so it's still a lot of kill potential for uh a lot of kill potential for that defensive tri lane for the side of leviathan but we will see this core earth shaker and we'll see how it works out once again best of two this is our second game jdl season four guys introducing the teams on the dire side team leviathan with nusham playing up on the rubik fact or fiction standing in for shredder on the core earth shaker shibby gonna take up towards the mid lane that brewmaster jenkins on the faceless but not maceless void towards the off lane and finally sunken playing up on the lion to counter up that terror blade on the side of union gaming we do have in the off lane already placing a ward down with his boots first build angel back to his standard off lane position has not played with union gaming today for the first three games is back now for the fourth tex the stand-in playing in the mid on the storm spirit and we do have baka on the hurrah skyrath mage all i do I do in her name. Ben has going to cop a Fisher to the face on this one position. Terrorblade and rounding out the lineup. Jericho once again on the Ogre Magi. So see how things go here for the side of UG. Looking to tie it up here. Falling in game one to the rat. Kill the rat. And the rat from LVT is too much for them to handle. Once you go rat, you never go back. And so Jenkins not going to be able to do as much riding with the Faceless Void in this one. And uh, looking like an Egyptian god with that time, what is that, a time breaker? Elder time breaker. Uh, looking pretty pimp on the Void. So see what he's able to do in this matchup. Fire Blast to the face of Nusham here. The Astral Spear going to hit him as well. A few more right clicks. There's your first blood. Jericho and the side of UG finding an easy one. And unfortunately for LVT, a little bit of a disadvantage for them in the early game. Uh, Factor Fiction actually going to go towards the off lane on this Earthshaker. So is able to block up the creeps with his Fisher, But he's not going to stop Ben Has from farming at all. And is going to be pretty susceptible to these kills uh, with the combo of Ogre Skywrath Mage. So I do worry for him. Uh, Angel posturing up pretty aggressively. He is going to get time walked on by Jenkins but he's gonna lose quite a bit of farm for doing this and doesn't have the time lock uh, as well but he will find the last hit here so maybe only misses one last hit either way doesn't have the time lock so really can't put too much harass into that ET so I do question that jump forward a little bit but does want to zone him out of lane and currently does not have his Rubik here to do that as Nusham did feed over that first blood in the mid lane Taking a look at the mid lane matchup, Brewmaster versus Storm. Traditionally, Storm does very well in this matchup. Uh, does very well against most melee heroes in general. But Shibby should be able to find quite a bit with his Thunderclap to farm up waves. And uh, you will see the Storm takes a slight advantage a little bit further into the game. But Shibby doing very well right now and has leveled up that Drunken Haze. 
Um, so Tex is missing on a lot of these last hit attempts already at level 1. I believe it's 20% miss chance. 45% uh, miss chance. What am I talking about? 20% slow roughly on the 40% show. So very nice value point in the Drunken Haze for Shibby. And uh, Yuji Angel going to be able to pull this wave into the large camp here. He will get scouted out eventually, but standing on the low ground. And he will be able to last hit with his spirit. Once he sees things get a little bit low, but uh, he will pull that over and it will be farmed up mostly by Leviathan, but he will find a wave under his tower. Uh, so not bad for Yuji. Angel, he'll find some farm there. Back a little bit low in the trees and they are going to fire blast into fact or fiction. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Sebek didn't join me in the, uh, in the lobby, but either way, that's all right. Um, <laughs> in the bot lane, just an illusion being aggressed on. Oh, look at me. I'm red. Just like Canada. That's fucking cool, man. Ben has farming very well. 15 and 6 on the Terror Blade. Is saving up most of his gold. Perhaps will go for a Midas on this TV. Definitely does benefit from levels, but not a very uh, common build. You usually just see the Treads Yasha build from these Terror Blades. Sometimes the drums, but Treads Yasha, you're a lot more tanky and you hit a lot harder than you think. Terror Blade, traditionally very low health early on. Of course, does go for that Treads as any Illusion hero should. And uh, he's farming very well. His laning counterpart, however, is farming well as well Jenkins on that faceless void and I'm glad they did put him into the safe lane here they really do need that farm on the void here as opposed to the Earthshaker and uh, fact or fiction still hasn't found his level two we take a look at the levels on the other side Angel has found his level two and is basically a full level ahead of this ES um, fact or fiction gonna look to farm things up he doesn't see Jericho and Baka at the moment and they don't see him so he is just going to try and soak some XP as Ben has needs a pause for the moment. And hopefully everything going well so far. Um, do I have an overlay up there? There, we took that overlay off now for you guys to see the game. Kappa. Either way, <laughs> let's get into this one. Uh, we have a disconnect from Tex. So UG going to wait for their Storm Spirit to regroup and join us once again. But other than that, not much else doing. 1,300 gold being saved up on Jenkins. So perhaps he goes for the treads. Perhaps he goes for a Midas of his own uh, to get a couple levels up in that Chronosphere. Uh, but for the time being, Ben has also farming very well. Nothing on the Courier just yet for him. Courier is coming out to the mid lane with boots for Shibby. Has already picked up his bottle. Does have a Bounty Rune in tow. And uh, unfortunately, we do have a pause at this point, guys. Very long game today in game one of the series, 60 minutes. Be sure to check out the VODs a little later tonight, youtube.com slash Heflamoak. I am Morris, please, your resident Canadian Dota 2 caster. This is Hefla TV. And thanks again for joining us, guys. We'll have some more JDL action tomorrow. We also have the Battle of Central Europe over on Hitbox. That's hitbox.tv slash Hefla TV HB1. And really good matchup. We we saw BBC today in uh, in BOCE take out Virtus Pro. And once again, you will be able to see Weeha and his boys playing again against Album Sheet tomorrow. So that is at 16 CET tomorrow as we do hop back into the game here. Tex seems to be back in control of his Storm Spirit here. here. Shibby has found some farm mid. 17 CS on the Brewmaster is actually out farming the Storm Spirit. So... Not the best situation here, but fact or fiction, going to drop in the bot lane. Earthshaker, only a matter of time before he goes down. We did see him over here soaking up XP, and looks like Tex needs another pause. Over under on pauses by Union Gaming is four. Uh, last game, I believe, there were only two, so they don't make it. But this game, already two thus far, so the Peru pauses are real. And two more, and you guys all owe me a follow on Twitter. Two more pauses. Everyone has to go over to Twitter. Follow me at MRP underscore Dota. If there's less than two more pauses, uh, as in one or less, I will follow you on Twitter. So Twitch message me your Twitter handle. Um, either way, Morbid Mask picked up here. 
by Jenkins. I certainly agree with this decision. He could have gone for the Midas or the Treads, but Mask of Madness does give a lot of early kill potential. You'll probably see him max out this time lock here. He's gone for the value build 1-1-1 one, 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 and everything thus far, but with that time lock, it does add quite a bit of damage. 25% bash chance, uh, 70 damage each time. So with that Mask of Madness, you're going to pretty much bash lock every four hits, and you'll have at least two cycles of that in the Chronosphere over the uh, four second duration. So um, that adds about 140 damage to your Chronosphere target and uh, will give him some more kill potential. He's also got the Long Range Fisher to help out and the Impale from the Lion. So looking at the levels thus far, the support's doing fairly well for the side of Leviathan. Uh, they've got the Rubik at 2 and Lion at 3. And so Lion finding a lot in lane and with the pulls. However, unfortunately for them, their off lane Earthshaker is only level 1. Not even close to this level 2 quite yet. 4 factor fiction and uh, perhaps they should sack this off lane at some point. He j did just die. And we will have things still pause at the moment. Anything else to speak of? JDL Europe tomorrow. Lions versus Denial. And uh, that's at 21.30 CET, so still quite a ways away from now. Um, later in December, we will have Steel Series Malaysia, and Jenkins going to resume things here in the game. So everything back to normal as Ben has continues to farm here in the bot lane. He's found quite a bit of CS, 25, same as Jenkins on the Void, almost identical creep scores for them, in fact. And uh, Baka's found his boots now. Jericho has his as well. And the Elder Titan is going to be lifted up. He got hit with an impale here. One time lock as well. Will he be able to stop in time? He does not. And Jenkins is going to be exactly the one they want to find the kill there. And it's weird that he doesn't have any gold. There's got to be something coming out here. Yeah, that's his Mask of Madness recipe. So four and a half minutes in, Mask of Madness done. Treads to be next for Jenkins. He's looking really good. Uh, Factor Fiction is in EX, uh, EXP range, bottom. So it does find one denial there. Um, and we'll use the Fisher to last hit, but that's going to leave him susceptible to this gank being set up by Jericho here. Albeit the Skywrath is pretty far off, so not sure what Jericho is doing. He should be soaking XP with Baka here. As the Mask of Madness is ferried out to, uh, to Jenkins Void. And uh, Fact or Fiction trying to find some XP here. He will be aggressed upon in the bot lane. Actually, it's just some warding done by Jericho. He will have his Soul Ring ferried out as well. Treads come out now for Ben has. So sitting at pretty much equal farm with the Void. But you will see a little bit of net worth advantage from the Void from having that kill. Uh, Tech's not doing amazingly in the mid lane, 20 and 5 to the 29 and 5 of Shibby, so good on him for winning a matchup he really be, should be losing on this Brewmaster, but that one skill in the Drunken Haze, very smartly played by him. He's now level 7 on the Brewmaster, his split was committed here at some point, um... Not sure exactly when that was. Metamorphosis bottom though with an illusion as well from Ben has. They're going to try and take down this tower early. Factor Fiction waiting in the trees with a Fisher. Um, but he's a little bit low on mana for that. And Glyph should be popped here when it's in deny range. And is. So Ben has going to look to pick up this last hit here. But TP's are bottom. Uh, there's one more hit needed. And he does find it there. But Hex on to Ben has. Sunken actually just going to feed over his life. So they only TP one over for no reason. Jericho going to find a kill there. Um, if you're subscribed to Hefla TV, this is the time to use that 322 emote. Because... I don't know what the hell that was. Either way, Shibby going to catch a Fire Blast in the face for grabbing that Invisibility Rune. But... We'll be able to utilize that here after. Ben has still very healthy in the bot lane, sitting at level 6. Uh, Jenkins farming up the jungle at the moment. Not sure why he wouldn't stay in lane, but he is giving some farm over to Nusham. That level 6 will be pretty potent in this game. He can steal up the ball lightning as well as uh, even metamorphosis from Terrorblade. So that'll be an interesting steal I've never seen before. Uh, metamorphosis Rubik. Either way, Ben has is being aggressed on. Clap's gonna go out first. Impale is there as well. Not gonna be needed, but he does throw it. One last right click from Shibby. Definitely the target they want to pick up that last hit there. 1900 gold on him. They pick off a very big priority target in the Terror Blade, and Ben has feeling a little too cocky in that bot lane. However, smoke movement from three heroes of UG. 
Baka, Jericho leading the way. Going to look for Nushim's Rubik here. They're not going to find the void from Jenkins. So even if they get Nushim, no big deal. Nice disjoint on the Fire Blast with that Telekinese, but he will end up dropping regardless. TPs are in here from Jenkins. He does have the Chrono at the ready, but he's going to need to hit this on a lot. And he only hits Tex here. There's a lot to mitigate this, and he's probably going to even drop himself. And... Uh, there's got to be a match scandal happening right now or something. I don't know. <laughs> Leviathan not looking too sharp in the mid game. They'll feed over a couple. And 70% of you on Dota2Bestiolo.com right now are pretty salty. Fire Blast out in the top lane. Echo Stomp going to hit as well. Nushim going to feed over his life again. And there goes another kill in the top lane to the trio of Jericho and baka and angel so rotating in is sunken he doesn't have his level six yet though so really no could kill potential for this lion shibby is available here no blink on him does have his primal split and is going to get scouted out by angel who will back off for the time being jericho teeping out in the tree line as well will be successful in doing so and factor fiction finally finding some farm here however um is caught up with the elder titan is now going to find his level six as well angel is about identical to him in that manner and he will find his echo stomp very soon blink now picked up for shibby he's gonna blink forward clap here comes the split as well and the echo stomp not gonna do much here for angel he's gonna get chased down by these brulings and a free solo kill actually sunken will come in as well and almost kill secure on that lion but he will grab some experience in the mid lane ben has got an illusion not doing much zip forward though from tex long range zip mystic flare gonna finish off the rubik and in order to kill off an illusion that gives him nothing, he'll f trade his life. And perhaps this tier 1 as well. Glyph is available for Leviathan, so they can rotate in. Chronosphere is still down for 28 seconds, however. And they will look to just trade elsewhere, it seems. Glyph is available to delay things here, but... Another tower going the way of UG, and they've surmassed a pretty good advantage, I believe, at this point. They have 1,500 gold uh, experience about neutral. And even at this point, but 1500 gold in the way of Union Gaming. What has Ben has picked up to this point? Just an Aquila with his PMS and treads, but does have 1400 gold as well. Smoke movement from Jericho and Baka. Will they be able to find out the Factor Fiction Earth uh, Shaker? They will not. I was about to say Earthquaker. Yeah, that's a pretty cool name. Either way, Angel finds his level six. Does opt to skill the Earth Splitter here, which is sometimes surpassed or bypassed for uh, Max Astral, but that needs level seven either way. So. Um, the, he doesn't go for the second point in natural order. Blink is available here in the top lane from Shibby. And he does have Sunken with the Finger of Death available here. So there is kill potential. Sunken's going to have to start rotating down though. And the Creep Wave may have scouted out the Brew. J bl jump forward. Clap. One right click with the crit. And the Stomp is not going to be there. Impale Finger of Death going to finish him off. Sunken going to get off a nice Hex as well. Something was stolen. Mystic Flare was stolen here. But in the back line, Shibby going to get picked off by Tex. But great steal for Nushim. He can put that to work with the Telekinese. He can set up his own Mystic Flare here. Jump forward. Chronosphere. And there's the Mystic Flare Chronosphere combo. Rubik and on uh, Nushim making a very nice steal and Jenkins immediately putting it to work but they only find a kill on the Skyroth unfortunately either way a kill is a kill 8 to 6 is your score 11 minutes in and a nice little engagement top lane they do lose their Brewmaster they get the Elder Titan and the Skyroth but they also expend a Chronosphere so I think Yuji's okay with that for the moment being because they now feel really safe on their Terrorblade who has opted for a 1-3-4 build so no ultimate hit for him quite yet. He probably will even max out the illusions at level 9 before going for that one level in Sunder. And this will help Ben has farm fairly well on this Terrible. It should have his Yasha coming out, and he does. So 11 minutes in, Ben has Treads, Aquila, Poor Man's Shield, Yasha is farming extremely well at the top of the net worth chart. Uh, Jenkins hasn't gotten enough done with that 4.5 minute Mask of Madness. Just the one kill on the Skyrath fed himself over here. With that chronosphere as he died um, with his mask of madness paused and left three heroes out of the chrono there so fortunately for him not much getting done there and uh, ben has farming up the jungle shibby is here doesn't have vision of him quite yet and the reverse is also true so ben has will back off wisely so and they will aggress onto the top lane tier one here or three men smoke from Tex, Jericho, and Baka. This is a very potent roaming combo with the Skywrath Ogre being 
potent in their own right, but the courier is kind of tailing them and revealing their location at the moment. Shibby, very susceptible to this mid. Jump in. There's an Ancient Seal to follow this. Mystic Flare there as well. Shibby probably going to be able to go down. He does. One last right click from Tex brings him down. They even rotate in Benhaz. Get some experience there. And the second highest net worth target. Actually, Benhaz didn't get any experience, but he rotates in nonetheless. Second highest net worth target brought down here. Mystic Flare still available for this Rubik, but he barely has enough mana for it. And he doesn't have enough mana for anything else. So they need to set it up for him if he's able to use it. Um, either way, 9-6 to six is your score. UG in the lead, 13 minutes in, looking to take back a revenge game here. Uh, 3,000 net worth, 1,000 gold. Leads generated by UG thus far. Ben has has pretty much been left unchecked on this Terrorblade. He's already got his Yasha and 1,200 gold up. He's farming extremely fast. He's sitting at level 10, which is the highest on the board. Impale just clearing shit out with mid lane. Jericho going to walk in. Fire Blast in the face. Nice multicast. Onto Jenkins, excuse me. Stomp is not going to hit, though, as he's able to time walk out. Mana Drain going to bring down that illusion from the Terror Blade. And uh, the Telekinesis um, from Nusham is going to sound as a cheap, but another multicast, two in a row from Jericho will bring him down. Blink in, clap, split, though, is here from the Brewmaster. And they will cycle up the Ogre, so he will survive for now, actually. But they will be able to right click him down. Sunken is going to back off. Primal Split going to be down very soon. And they will bring in, uh, out Sunken in the back lines. Shibby will be able to blink away. But two for one in the mid lane. Going the way of UG. And they're continuing to find good trades here. Factor Fiction has been totally uninvolved so far on this Earthshaker. Looking at the net worth chart, he's just above the support. And the Ogre, even Jericho, who has found a couple of those easy, skillful multicasts is almost level 8 and has surpassed the Earthshaker from the offlane in net worth and almost has his 4 staff up as well zip forward onto Factor Fiction Mystic Flare easy kill and not being involved he did either way so big loss there was sitting at 1600 gold on his way to his blink dagger if that's what he wanted and perhaps we'll just opt to go back for the arcanes and get involved here jenkins may run into ben has here taking a look at the vision from ben has the illusion will scout him out now it is fake though and jenkins will just put a few right clicks into it but he gives away his position here ben has gonna tp out in the tree line jenkins gonna do the same so both carries thinking alike and Ben has knowing he was a little bit more in trouble deep behind enemy lines there. Will TP out. No steal now in hand for Nusham on that Rubik. He's the lowest on the experience board as well as the net worth. Very poor on this Rubik. And feel like it's a hero that's fallen off quite a bit. He's really unable to recover in farm unless he farms heroes. And for that reason often becomes irrelevant here. Astral Spirit mid lane, gonna do some scouting. Stomp also gonna land on the periphery on Shibby there, but just a harassing one. There's no follow up in tow. Roshan is up here. There are three heroes in the bot lane, just waiting for the TB, baiting out Factor Fiction. Ben has not gonna bite the bait though. 2100 gold, farming up the jungle with relative ease, and Terrorblade with that, just that Yasha and Power Treads up is a very quick farmer in the jungle especially with level 4 illusions and he did grab those up fairly early at level 10 or 9 and either way he's gonna go into factor fiction in the bottom he will scout that both of these are fake with the enchant totem strike and is completely alone ben has though may look to go into lane just pops another illusion off and will retreat towards that jungle he is just gonna scout things out here smart play by ben has um, and he will find sunk in there but nothing gonna come of it continues to farm away in the jungle and uh, entire squad of LVT gonna group up by the Roche pit looks like they will jump in with Shibby and Jenkins here um, but they are waiting in the enemy jungle for the side of UG and they do now ping it out they may be a second too late but the Astral Spirit is going to come through and scout this out. And the Stomp will be there as well if they need it. Um, but actually just out of range. He does go for the Stomp. It's going to be a little bit too far out of range. But they have scouted this out. Roche still at 50% HP. And they do have good team fight from Leviathan in the pit with that Chronosphere. But 
Jenkins going to have to t walk to the high ground, and uh, that's a lot of time wasted for the side of LVT, albeit Yuji didn't find much in that time either, but Ben Haas was farming away, and certainly something they need to be worried about here. This Terrorblade already picked up another item. It's His Manta style is up. 17 minutes into the game with treads and poor man shield jump forward from the storm spirit is going to find factor fiction in the trees orchids him up but uh, nushim is here on the rubik to deter any aggression baka going to be scouted out by shibi he will drunken haze him up can jump forward steel is there it's going to just be the arcane orb this time so no concussive shot or mystic flare he would have wanted one of the two at least for that chase Ben has going to hide in the trees, and they're going to have to, a high ground ward place here. He's going to get scouted out, so they do know he's here. Shibby walking up the high ground. Blink, clap, does land on Ben has. He's got the Sunder available, but they're going to click him down before he's able to use it. So very timely placement of the ward. They get the 9,000 net worth Terror Blade. Ben has did just pick up his Manta, though, and doesn't lo lose much gold there. Blink is now available for Factor Fiction, so he can be can finally become just relevant in this game or start to become relevant as stomp lands on jenkins mid lane jenkins 10 seconds till that mask of madness is up does have the chronosphere at the ready but it seems like they're just baiting out this ogre from the side of ug right now and they do have the stomp to counter initiate into that chronosphere it is not going to land to your mid echo stomp going to be down for another 13 seconds but um, doesn't look like they're too willing to engage here from the side of Leviathan. And they will farm up some Ancients here. Trying to get Factor Fiction's level 11, I suppose. He's soaking some experience there. And um, we'll give the farm over to Jenkins, of course, who is building into a BKB. So they do have a lot of ways to deal with this Chronosphere. And they will leap into the pit now. Um, but they won't find much. Jericho is smoked up here. That's going to get popped. And he's not able to see into the pit. Actually, Jenkins is going to spot him here. Mystic Flare out onto Jenkins, though. Another wasted chrono from Jenkins. Void jump in, though. Echo Slam on two. They're going to bring down the Storm Spirit. So certainly worth it dragging them into it. Baka is telekinesed up in the air. He's going to get brought down as well. Three for nil. Going the way of Leviathan despite that terrible chrono. And the one thing it does do is draw everyone in. Oh, look. Terrible chrono. Let's fight. And therefore... They are able to bring everyone down with a very nice counter initiation from Factor Fiction, the stand-in on the Earthshaker. And Special Spirit, the the or the um, illusion is going to be able to kill off Sunk in here as the stomp lands. So nice easy kill for Ben has. And the Earth Splitter is going to come through. That's going to force Jenkins high ground. And they will be able to defend this Roshan for the side of Union Gaming. Metamorphosis popped by Ben has as well. They've got TPs in from the Skywrath as well as the Ogre Magi. And Stomp is going to land on Factor Fiction. He should go down here. He does hit, get hit with the Fire Blast. And jump in, clap though. Factor Fiction trying to TP out. Probably should have just turned and used a Fisher there. Split is going to be used. He's going to Cyclone up one. He's going to look to chase down Baga. And we will have the Ogre up fairly soon as well. But Fade Bolt from the backside going to clean up. Uh, that Skyrath Mage, however, zip in from the storm, gonna clean up the Rubik here, and the Stomp will do the job, Angel picking up that kill, blink out from Shibby, he'll be just fine for the time being, but all the meanwhile, Ben has, killing up the Roshan, he gets the Immortality on this Terror Blade, and that's gonna be huge for them, uh, meanwhile, Fire Blast in the bot lane, jump forward though from the Void, Finger of Death, they're gonna clean up the storm, and Angel being chased down with this Mask of Madness, he's got a lot of move speed though, 485, is to the 454 of the void with that astral spirit uh time walk is gonna latch though he needs one bash here at least chronosphere is up in three seconds and he will dodge the stomp he does have the chrono now but a jump forward clap from shibby should kill off angel and they do find that kill so a nice couple of return kills going the way of lvt but they lose the roshan and jump forward from jericho mystic flare ancient seal is gonna land on jenkins and the arcane bolt is gonna be enough with that magic da damage amplification to pick him off so not worth the couple of picks they get trading over their one position jenkins and he still doesn't have bkb 21 minutes into the game on this void has been a little bit underwhelming almost level 12 but he's not even the same level as the brewmaster in the mid and he's just the same as the ogre magi for union gaming so albeit he has had a very good game on this ogre has jericho so ben has Continuing to farm in the jungle. 
does have his manta and 2300 gold perhaps he picks up an ultimate orb here on the way to that scotty which is very very good on terror blade uh, void stone picked up by baka so perhaps a yule scepter build from him yep he does have pretty much all the components jump forward mid lane from tex he's gonna get hexed up however jump in clap as well stomp though is gonna sound the retreat he zips forward with an orchid trying to take out sunken he's gonna get telekinesis up though earth splitter gonna miss completely on everyone he does find the kill but tra trades over his life so very greedy play from tex there and the telekinesis from nusham able to keep himself up for a bit sunken does go down but they trade over a storm spirit for that which is certainly not worth it and uh mss panic miss panic little little questionable play from text there either way things looking very very good for union gaming we'll take a look at the metrics here 5k so things they have stopped the bleeding for leviathan here and things spike back in their favor after that roshan engagement where they find a couple return kills and that storm spirit feed mid so three three two two all over the place in this one and 125 gold away roughly from the BKB is Jenkins. He will have enough after these creeps. And he will be able to pick that up. He does now ferry it over. And will finally be able to attack the target. He chronos. Jump in mid lane. Thunderclap. Drunken Haze onto Shibby. He's going to get Telekinesis up and brought back. There's going to be an overload from Nusham here. Or uh, Vortex I should say. And there's the chrono. It only catches one. And the boulder toss probably would have killed him off there. Jenkins hoping to find someone trying to support in but angel was just this way but angel was just supporting with the astral spirit so once again chrono fear used a little bit questionably from jenkins stomp is available here from the other titan jenkins gonna rotate into the trees and trap himself but stomp not gonna land and uh, glyph gonna be popped mid lane meanwhile storm spirit has been jumped onto tex gonna orc it up shibby and we'll be able to back off here jump in mid lane ben has has been hexed up bkb used by Jenkins, but he's taking a lot of right click from these metamorphosis uh, spirits or uh, illusions, and he does back off spirit stomp. Gonna whiff there, and nothing really happens. But Factor Fiction does get the tower in that mid lane. Everyone else able to disengage, and Angel still with the spirit on cooldown, not able to find anyone retreating. As uh, Sunken does have 1500 gold, so perhaps looking for that blink dagger on the lion here. And does have level 2 finger of death so everyone is sitting on at least their second level alts at this point and nice steal from the rubik there with the electric vortex was able to pull back the uh ogre there but either way chronosphere still wasted on it and he does now have the fire boss which is level 4 which is a very nice skill to have 240 damage but unfortunately he doesn't have the ability for it to multicast i believe so it wouldn't make sense if he does, but we will have to see. Tex, building into his BKB here, has the Ogre Axe in his stash. 500 gold in addition to that. And we'll look to be doing some work with that BKB up fairly soon. Things going to stagnate for the moment. Angel finds his Yule Scepter. Ben has farming very well on the TB. Has an Ultimate Orb and 2800 gold, so not too far off uh, he needs just about another 700 or so to find the full scotty uh, with that second ultimate orb plus a point booster and an orb of venom so um a little more than that i should say forgot about that orb of venom but either way things looking good for union taking a look at the metrics LVT has brought it back quite a bit, and in the top lane, they may find out Ben has. Fade Bolt going to go through these illusions here as he tries to put some harass into the tower and even tries to bring down Nusham, but won't be able to do so. Fade Bolt bringing down the armor of them and uh, Sunken. Farming up some neutrals. Almost has his Blink Dagger. 250 gold away from that. Chronosphere is down here. Did Jenkins find a kill that I just missed? No. So perhaps just use the Chronosphere to back out. The Spirit's going to scout him out. Uh, no, but I missed that one, of course. Jericho jumping in, finding Nusham, who was brought down low from those illusions. But the Finger of Death is there from Sunken, and they will get the return kill. So spaced out name, kills off spaced out name. Sweet. That's a Blink Dagger for Lion, though, which is a very nice pickup, especially into the TV, who's very susceptible to magic damage if they know which one is real. 
and uh, he will pop the illusion and his mantis mid or bottom and get an easy tier two without even committing his actual hero there uh, micro please thank you and we'll look to clean up the creep wave as well ben has looking very very strong on this tv does have a full scotty on the way so 27 minutes in manta treads scotty aquila or Ben has, he's damn scary on this Terrorblade. 14k net worth, 4k ahead of the Void, as well as the Brewmaster here, who has opted for a BKB for Shibby. So that's at 10 seconds. He's got the Blink Vlads to couple with it as well. BKB at 9 seconds, I believe, for the Void. Uh, 8 seconds, actually. So it does have 2k gold in addition. Is going to get hit with a Stomp here from very long range from Angel, but... He won't have any follow up there and just gonna annoy him and take a last hit. Uh, mid lane though, they jump in and find two. <laughs> Leviathan committing the split as well as the Echo Slam there. So, a lot of damage done by that Earthshaker. And Jenkins gonna find the kill top as well. He's getting chased down. Yuji Angel gonna be able to lift him up and stomp him. There is the Earth Splitter here as well. One right click, he does time walk away. Jenkins gonna make it away from that one. So, apologize. It's been a long day, folks. But either way, Ben has putting some chip damage into this tier 3 with some illusions. Unfortunately, they're not in that metamorphosis form. Uh, but they will bring down half of this power so easily. And you look one way against a Terrorblade, especially with a Scotty, who look how tanky these illusions are, and your buildings are fucking dead. Um, actually, the last right click coming in from another illusion. Ben has going to send up that last one. Certainly was worth it. And we'll find the tier 3 despite losing the Skywrath to. Um, the void as well as the storm spirit mid they do find a tower and uh that's pretty awesome for them they have not racks exposed sub 30 minutes in that bottom lane and ben has is completely left unchecked he's one two and two on the stair blade so has died but all early on almost level 16 15k net worth and he is quite at the um near the top of that experience chart but he's a terror blade so i mean he's not a meepo but he does farm extremely well, sitting at 15k net worth. Sunken found that Blink Dagger, so perhaps that's what they use mid to go in on. The Storm Spirit, either way, brought him down. And uh, Tech's not having the greatest game on the Storm Spirit. Has picked up his BKB recipe, so probably got that just before dying. Is trying to farm his Mithril Hammer here. From the Ancients, Nushim going to run into Baka with a clap and the Telekinese. Easy kill there. He'll pick off the concussive shot as well. Roshan is up and will be scouted by Leviathan here. So perhaps they look to go in. Jenkins all the way in the top lane, however. Does have Chronosphere at the ready if he were to tread swap. Uh, but may not have enough for both the Chronosphere and the Mask of Madness. Should have just enough for both at this point if he tread swaps. But he won't be able to use the lead lane. Will be a jump forward from Jericho. He's gonna hit a fire blast. BKB gonna be have to be popped here from Jenkins. They're gonna try and right click him down. It won't be enough. And Jenkins gonna make it out. Uses that seven second BKB charge. So the BKB getting very low for this void. But with six second Chronosphere, five second BKB, he still should be able to have solo pick target, uh, solo pick capability on this void. And uh, we will see the Roche and be taken down here. Pull up nicely, nicely named towards um, up sunken. Either way, it will bring this down. Sans faceless void, and uh, Shibby would probably be the one to pick that up. He is drops his bottle for that. Perhaps going into a Shiva's or an AC with the blade mail in his inventory, and uh, Shiva's pretty good against illusions. So uh, I would probably anticipate that over the AC here. But AC very good on Brewmaster. Does help with his right clicks. Help, helps with the Void as well. Baka going to smoke up with Angel here. It looks like they're baiting out Jericho top lane. Who's been aggressed on by Factor Fiction. He does have the haste rune to get away from this. And will wisely back off. So no one able to take him out. Should be in the mid lane. Is stuck in the trees. Until his blink is off cooldown. Dyer going to take the tower bot lane, so Jenkins missing that last hit. Um, not having the best game is your resident Canadian Dota 2 player on this void, but in the top lane, Factor Fiction been gone on. One last right click from Tex, going to finish him off. He's going to pop the BKB and chase forward onto Nushim. Should be another easy kill. Double kill for the Storm Spirit. Earth Splitter goes out to find Sunk in here. Not going to do so. He's going to be able to blink in and hex up the Storm Spirit. There is a finger of death, but he gets fuels up. Jump in clap from Shibby. He should be able to pick off the Storm Spirit here who doesn't have mana left. 
and he is able to do so. Sunken's blink off cooldown very soon. He does blink forward very nicely placed, and he will be able to cancel Angel's TP. Angel in a lot of trouble here. And Impale gonna whip, however, they're gonna be able to block him in. He will be able to stop both heroes, but is not able to get out here and he will be able to pop another spirit and perhaps look to do some right clicking um but sunken blocking off shibby funny little engagement here gonna yule's and force forward the blinks are available soon though stomp is gonna land impale from long range angel finally gonna go down and uh that's when you do one of these but either way <laughs> that elder titan Taking all day to go down there. And lock committed. But uh, Jenkins, in a farm up this mid lane, has found his Maelstrom now. Does have that five second BKB at the lowest duration. Ben has has picked up a Talisman of Evasion and 2,700 gold. So only 600 off that Eagle Horn at this point. And he will do very, very well once he gets up that effective HP. Chronosphere committed. Bottom does find the Skyrath Mage once again. Jenkins, though, going to get pulled in. Probably going to feed his life over for this one. He will pop the BKB. Not going to matter. Metamorphosis if popped by Ben has. He'll chop down that void with relative ease. And Ben has is so fat on this Terror Blade right now. Shibby trying to find the tier one in the top lane. Angel going to be here with a stomp. And uh, should be able to deny this. Oh, Shibby gonna pop the BKB, gets that off. He'll pop the split as well. Look to find a kill on Angel who will jump back. And Ben has is gonna be just fine here to fight up against these uh, Brulings. And we need to see Shibby back off. He should leave the Earth Panda here to die, really. And Wind Walk out that Wind Panda, but uh, they probably may have not killed it off in time. And the Ancestral Spirit is here, is a little bit quicker than Shibby, but it won't be able to chase that deeply. Actually, jump! Talking about deep forward from Tex. He's going to find Nusham leaping across the map on that Storm Spirit. And they can keep going from the side of UG if they want to here. But Ben has not quite with them. Jump forward from Fact and or Fiction. He's not going to find anyone. And does have 2,500 gold in addition to his Blink Force Staff. So can look for that Aghanims fairly soon if that's his choice. Perhaps he looks for a Crystalist Concussive Shot. Is going to land on him. He will disjoint it with a Blink. Sunken with a blink at the ready. Jump forward from Shibby. He's going to get Yules up here. Jump forward from Sunken as well. Earth Splitter is going to go out. And Sunken going to absolutely melt. Shibby and Factor Fiction going to get hit with a two-man stomp. Easy Mystic Flare for the Skyrath. Force out from Factor Fiction. One more right click needed. Arcane Bolt will be there. He will go down as well. Three for nil so far. Shibby going to die here too. And Leviathan just not looking particularly sharp in this second game. That is the Aegis. And we do have Jenkins looking top lane for a kill on the Elder Titan. BKB popped by Shibby. He will clap and should be able to back off. And in the meantime, Angel caught out by Jenkins that he will go down there. Shibby actually going to look to fight up against Ben. Has probably the wrong decision. But he does have a split up and available soon. And he does use it here. Will put the boulder toss into Baka. Should be able to bring down that Skyrath. He does get Yuled up. But the, the butterfly comes in on the Terrorblade in the meantime. And Ben has very tanky right now. Does have the Manta and the Metamorphosis up in 5 seconds. But is going to back off for the time being. Cyclone up onto the Storm Spirit. He's got enough mana to zip to the high ground though. And they will look to re-engage here. Metamorphosis from Ben has. Easy kill it seems to be. Telekinese does drop on Ben has. But they are going to find Shibby. Despite having that Drunken Brawler evasion. Nusham pops his, uh, pops his Ghost Scepter here. And it does force to the high ground. He did have steel available. He probably could have tried to steal ball lightning there. Not sure if it was the last spell used. Either way, he goes down. Blink forward from the Earth Shaker. He's going to try and take down the storm. Not going to be enough to do so. Probably will feed over his own life as well. Four seconds to the blink. Going to get canceled from the right clicks from Ben Has. Ben Has so fat on this Terror Blade. Ultra kill. Going the way of the Terror Blade. 2600 gold in addition to Scotty Butterfly Manta. They have no solution for him. There are no buybacks available from the side of leviathan only buyback available is on jenkins who is alive and free set of easy racks here for ug glyph will get popped for the range racks jenkins trying to split push that tier two in the bottom but he's going to be flanked on here and jump in mystic flare electric vortex easy kill for the trio there from union gaming they will get the racks as well they can probably continue to do some work but the tier twos are available for both lanes from Leviathan. So that shows you how early um, ben, 
or how quickly Ben has is available able to take down these structures as they haven't even committed to the other lanes yet and uh, he is just able to walk in take a full free lane of rack 22,000 net worth 3,500 gold in Ben Haas's inventory and uh, yep just some just some easy riding from Yuji taking engagements taking structures and objective gaming uh, from them but Leviathan yeah have looked super poor in this one unfortunately um, Jenkins is usually a really really sweet player uh, especially on his pudge and uh, unfortunately not having the best game on that safe lane faceless void angel playing fairly well on this elder titan is has been involved in 14 of the 29 kills for his team and uh, is a nice addition back to the lineup of UG as they were running a stand in before he came back Tex has played pretty well in the storm spirit despite that one overextension mid to find the rubik where he fed his life over but uh, ben has just gonna sit in base give them some time to farm back up he picks up his bkb here so not gonna opt for the heart uh, in the top lane they will find jenkins once again that's no buyback for the void there and no buyback for anyone really elder titan will have it soon is very close in terms of gold um as will the storm spirit but that's 60 seconds with the void on the sidelines and they can certainly punish them in that time with a terror blade who's got butterfly and scotty and manta but uh, ben has a little bit late to the party right now uh, they will find factor fiction though easy pick off in the trees astral spirit used to scout him out and two down with no buybacks now tier two down as well for leviathan and uh, for all intents and purposes they may as well gg out they do have the bkb split and the ac available on shibby so he will be able to mount some sort of defense here but uh, they don't have to commit much to this high ground to take these engagements and ben has gonna take a tower in the mid lane he's got metamorphosis and manta up as well so just using his team to split p in the top lane and is gonna look perhaps to join them here metamorphosis manta's up he's gonna throw everything to the high ground here and should have a relatively easy time taking down this tier three finger of death was committed to take down the skyrath mage but jump in onto sunken sunken's gonna die ben has doesn't even care heroes who needs heroes i kill buildings and he bkbs up he'll take down this range rock chronosphere does hit on angel but completely whiffs on everyone else once again jenkins falling a little short with that chrono ben has gonna chop him down no buybacks available for anyone and the echo slam on the side from fact or fiction kind of whiffed on everyone and so i guess he overestimated his blink range a little bit buyback from sunken on the lion not really gonna matter they're gonna fight the tier fours not even looking to go for the next lane of racks here ben has and his squad gonna kill off some effigies knows the poor statues jenkins has his effigy here as i mentioned his punch is pretty damn good zip forward from the storm spirit i'm not gonna be able to kill off sunken actually there will be a stomp there but sunken survives and that's the one saving grace for Leviathan. The series will be tied 1-1 here. Very convincing game in game two from Union Gaming. Ben has on the Terrorblade left completely unchecked. And just able to farm up a storm. Get a 5k or so net worth advantage, guys. And there is your game two series going to be tied up 1-1. Leviathan taking game one. Union Gaming taking game two. A lot quicker, 20 minutes quicker in 40 minutes as opposed to the 60 taken by union gaming and uh i am morris please you're a resident canadian dota to cast you can find me over on twitter at mrp underscore dota this is hefla tv follow us on twitter and a facebook at hefla tv and uh over on youtube.com slash hefla moke we do have as i mentioned guys a few games up tomorrow battle of central europe bbc versus album sheet is at 16 cet over on hitbox.tv slash hefla tv hb1 and uh, we also have some JDL EU tomorrow, 21:30 CEST, and uh, JDL Asia 11:30 on Hefla TV One on Twitch. So thanks again for joining me, guys. I appreciate all the support, and uh, please do flame me in Twitch chat, etc., etc. And uh, 
we will have some more dota 2 coverage coming your way i'll be back tomorrow probably with some more jdl but otherwise check out mike loris 16 cet hitbox.tv slash hefla tv hb1 for battle of central europe that's where you'll see weha running amok through the dota scene once again